How to use ClickUp AI. Hello and welcome to our channel, WebOS. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use ClickUp AI. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is open your browser and kindly go to ClickUp.com. Or you can simply click the link on the description below. And after that, you will be directed in here, in which it will show you about this platform. And if you don't know ClickUp, ClickUp is a cloud-based project management and productivity platform designed to help teams and businesses stay organized and collaborate efficiently. It provides a centralized workspace where teams can plan, track, and manage tasks, projects, and workflows. And from here, in order to create an account, just proceed by clicking the sign up button on the top right corner or login button if you already have an account. And to sign up for free, all you need to do is to enter your work email address. And after that, you will be directed in here. And this is the dashboard of clickup.com. And you will see on the left side panel, the home, notifications, goals, show less, favorite, spaces, dashboard, docs, your account below, invite users, and upgrade your account. So if you want to upgrade your account, kind of click on this and it will show you some of the offer including unlimited business and enterprise plan that they offer. And you will see the corresponding price and the list of feature or benefits below. Now going back to the dashboard of ClickUp, you will see other options that you can navigate starting from home in which you will see here your lineup, your trending, my work, or even the calendar or events for this month. And for the lineup, you will see the important tasks and other to-do lists that you need to be done. And aside from that, you could also navigate on the left side panel, the notifications option, in which from here, you will notify for some of the event or action that has been done. While under the goals option, you can set or create your own goals, break them down into measurable targets, and track your progress in real time. And aside from that, on the left side panel, you could also see here your spaces. And if you want to create your new space, just proceed by clicking new space button. And from here, you have the two options to create new space, such as new and with templates. And by choosing the templates, all you need to do is to select the templates that you want to start in creating your workspace. And as you can see here, we have a variety of template that you can choose. And by clicking on it, just proceed by clicking use template button in which by doing so you will be able to use this template in creating your spaces and by using the new option all you need to do is to enter your space name so let's say i'm gonna enter video tutorial just click the next button below and from here just select your space color and your space avatar below in which you will see a variety of icons that you can choose or alternatively you can just upload from your computer files by clicking the upload button in here and after choosing your color and avatars you have the two options to share your spaces either private or your own workspace in which anyone or any member of your team can access the spaces and after that the next thing that you need to do is to select the task statuses that you want to input in your spaces and you can select either custom content and many more but in those option, I'm going to choose the content option in which there are given statuses that is offered for free in this platform. And by clicking the next button, all you need to do is to select some of the things that you want to enable in your click apps, such as priority, tags, multiple assignees, custom field, time tracking, time estimates, and many more. And follow by choosing the default setting for views by enabling lists, calendar, board, map, team, and many more. And after that, just proceed by clicking Review Space button below, in which upon clicking on it, you will see here some of the details that you input, including your space name, avatar, task statuses, click ups, and your default settings for views. And after that, you will see here that your spaces has now been successfully created. And on the right side panel, you will see here the list, including your task name that you can add, the assignee, the tags, the priority, and the status of this specific task. 
And let's say for the task name, I'm going to enter script writing. And on the right side of it, you will see here that you can assign some of the member of your team to do this specific task, set the due date of it, and select the priority option, either urgent, high, normal, or low. And you can even set a due date. For example, I'm going to set a due date for tomorrow. And after setting the details of this task, just proceed by clicking the save button here. And as you can see, we have now successfully made the spaces and the task inside these spaces. And to add a task, just do the same process by clicking on new task and fill out all of the required information. Now going back on the left side panel, under the docs option, by clicking on it, you will see here the list of the docs that you have done, which is categorized by assigned to me, shared, or even private. And to create a new docs, just proceed by clicking add new button. And upon clicking on it in here, all you need to do is to enter your title. So let's say my title is how to choose the food for dog. And below is the body in which you need to write something or type this symbol for comments. And as you can see on the top panel of it, some of the options including the share button in which you can invite some of the people that you want to share with in this docs. And you can share using link or by simply entering their email address. Aside from that, you could also export doc, which is one of the options in this page. Now moving on in creating our docs, below here is the body in which you can type or enter your notes about the title. And let's say we want to enter a command. So I'm going to enter give the list of the foods that dogs allowed to eat. However, AI writing or command will not work if you're not using an upgrade account. And aside from that, the context that you enter can customize its font, which is located on the right side panel of it. And you can also enter a template that is offered for free in this platform. And aside from that, on the top panel, you will see some of the options. And by clicking the three dots under the setting, you have the option of rename, duplicate, copy link, favorite, move to save as template, apply template, history, share, archive, or even delete this kind of docs. And by clicking the templates on the right side panel, you can choose either marketing, personal use, HR and recruiting, and many more. So I'm going to select personal use. And below that, you will see here that you have the option to start creating your docs using chat GPT prompts for finance or writing and many more. So I'm going to choose chat GPT prompts for writing. And using this AI, you can start creating the content of your docs with the help of chat GPT. But of course, as I said earlier, you also need to have an upgrade account. And after upgrading your account, you will be able to access this kind of feature. And let's say you're now done creating your docs. On the left side panel, under the docs, by clicking all, you will see here the docs that you have done including its title and its content. So that is just how basically create a docs, spaces, and other tasks in this platform. So that is just how to use ClickUp AI. Thank you.